Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the midst of our preparation for the coming of the Lord, we celebrate today the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the principal patroness of the Philippines and of our Mother Church, the Manila Cathedral. Let us entrust ourselves our families, our church, and our country to our Immaculate Mother so that through her maternal intercession, we may be made worthy to receive Jesus into our hearts and into our lives. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared the worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. He has revealed His justice. 
years. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of His will, for the praise of the glory of His grace that He granted us in the Beloved. In Him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the One, who accomplishes all things according to the intention of His will, so that we might exist for the praise of His glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the good news according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. 
And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Ngayong umaga po ay gulat na gulat ako sa dami ng tao. Hindi lang po dito sa loob. Alam ko po dyan sa labas ay marami ring mga nakatayo at nagtsatsyaga po. Baka sa init sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta dito sa Manila Cathedral sa tahanan ng ating mahal na ina upang ipahayag natin ang ating pagmamahal, pasasalamat sa kanya bilang ating patrona, tagapagtaguyod at tagapangalaga. Palakpakan po natin ang bawat isa. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today Mary as our Immaculate Mother. But in my reflection this morning, I would like to focus on Mary as our patroness, our protectress, si Maria bilang ating patrona, tagapagtaguyod natin, tagapangalaga natin. You will notice that we have given you medals today. Para po sa mga hindi pa nakatatanggap, hintay lang po kayo. No? Mamaya ay maaabutan kayo ng medalya. Kinabahan nga ako nung nakita kung gaano kayo karami. Sabi ko magkakasya kaya ang pinagawa naming medalya sa maghapon. May tatlo pa po kaming misa. Parang gusto kong lapitan si Maria parang sa wedding at Cana. Please, Mama Mary, go to Jesus and tell Him, we do not have medals anymore for the whole day. And maybe Jesus would make a miracle and produce a lot of medals so that we could give to all our mass goers. 
But you will notice, my dear brothers and sisters, on the medals, we have inscribed the monogram of the name of Mary. It is a monogram, meaning the four letters, the, the five letters of the name of Mary is inscribed there. Nasuot-suot din po namin sa aming chasubol ngayong umaga na ito. This is inspired by the prayer Subtuum Presidium, the oldest known Marian prayer. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. We wear her name to symbolize that we are under her protection. She is the patroness, the protectress of the Philippines. And whenever you wear that medal and you see the name of Mary, we proclaim, we are under the protection of the name of Mary, the patroness of our country. But why do we go to her? Why don't we just go to Jesus directly? Why do we need to entrust ourselves to Mary? My dear brothers and sisters, we entrust ourselves to Mary because it was Jesus who entrusted first himself to Mary. Kaya po natin ipinagkakatiwala ang mga sarili natin kay Maria sapagkat si Jesus mismo, siya ang pinakaunang inihabilin ang kanyang sarili sa kanyang minamahal na ina na si Maria. In our gospel today, we hear about the story of the Annunciation when God, through the angel Gabriel, brought the good news to Mary, telling her that God the Father is entrusting His only Son to Mary to give birth to Him, to take care of Him, to nourish Him. If Jesus entrusted himself to Mary, cannot, can't we also entrust ourselves to Mary? If Jesus had confidence in Mary, shouldn't we also have confidence in her? Kung si Jesus ipinagkatiwala niya ang kanyang sarili kay Maria nang siya ay maging tao. Tayo ba? Hindi ba dapat din ipagkatiwala natin ang ating mga sarili kay Maria? As a small child, I am sure Jesus called out to Mary to ask for her help. Bilang bata, siguro si Maria, umi si Jesus, umiiyak kay Maria, humihingi ng kanyang tulong, humihingi ng kanyang paggabay. If Jesus asked for the help of His mother, shouldn't we also ask Mary, our mother, to help us? Kung si Jesus humingi ng tulong din sa kanyang ina, tayo ba? Dapat din tayong humingi ng tulong kay Maria. And as a mother, Mary protected her son. And so we are sure that Mary will also protect us because we are also her children. This is the prophecy in our first reading today. The woman who is to be the mother 
and this woman will have enmity with the serpent, meaning the woman will try her very best to protect her son. Kung si Maria na ina ni Jesus, pinangalagaan niya, itinaguyod niya ang kanyang anak na si Jesus, tayo pa kaya na kanya ring mga minamahal na anak. Mary's motherly heart is a protective heart. That is a mother. Isn't that the heart of a mother? Always seeking to protect her children. Marami po akong nakikitang mga nanay dito. Hindi ba't ganyan ang puso ng isang nanay? Ang pangalagaan ang kanyang mga anak. Kung si Maria na ina ni Jesus, ang kanyang puso ay nangalaga kay Jesus. Tayo rin na tinatawag niya ring mga anak at tinatawag din nating ina si Maria. Tayo rin handa niyang pangalagaan. Her motherly heart is a heart that protects us. That is the heart of a mother. Noong isang araw po ay mayroong nagsimba sa akin dito. Alam nyo naman po, kapag katapos ng misa, mayroong mga nagpapabasbas po sa akin. Iba't ibang mga intensyon. An old woman approached me after the Mass and she asked for my blessing. So, parang automatic na po sa akin yan, no? I will put my hands over her head and recite a short blessing for her. But I was surprised. After I was reciting my blessing, I can hear her also whispering. Habang nagdadasal ako sa kanya, naririnig ko sumasabay siya. Kaya naintriga ako. Ano kaya ang binubulong-bulong nitong matanda na ito at sumasabay sa akin? So lumapit ako ng kaunti sa kanya. I was surprised that she was also blessing me and praying for me. The heart of a mother. I was so touched. Madalas po kasi kapag nagbabasbas ako ng mga tao, ako lang naman ang nagbabasbas sa inyo. But this old lady, this mother, who asked for my blessing, was also whispering to God and whispering to Mary to bless me also. You know, I would like to believe that that old lady was Mama Mary. <laughs> I am sure Mary, like that old mother, is also doing that for us today, whispering to her son to also bless us, to protect us, to guide us. Her motherly heart protects us. And Mary learned all of this because not only of herself, but because first, she experienced God's protection. He protects, she protects us because she also experienced the protection of God when at the moment of her conception, God spared her and protected her from original sin. Mary protects us because as a mother, she mirrors God's protection. It is not just her power, it is God's power 
mirrored by Mary to us as a mother. This is the message of our second reading today when St. Paul in his letter proclaims to us that all spiritual blessing all are accomplished by the power of God and according to His purpose. Mary experienced that in her life when she was immaculately conceived because God protected her all her life. And if she experienced the protection of God, then she also shares with us that joyful experience of protection and being our patroness. So my dear brothers and sisters, I hope you will wear that medal proudly. I hope that whatever we wear this medal, the medal of the name of Mary, we are proud to proclaim, I am under the protection of Mary. We are under the protection of Mary. The country, the Philippines, is under the protection of Mary. Because Mary is our mother, our patroness, our protectress. Let us not be afraid to go to Mary. Let us not be afraid to entrust ourselves to Mary. Because first, it was Jesus who entrusted himself to his mother Mary. And we are sure that Mary, our mother, will protect us like how she protected her son, Jesus. In this celebration of the Eucharist, we entrust ourselves to Mary. We pray that Mary may continue to become our patroness and protectress. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, His Son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. In our great need, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May Mary, the Immaculate Mother, intercede for the Christian people so that they may go forward in hope, relying on the help of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our nation never grow weary of invoking the Blessed Mother and always find refuge under her protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who are facing trials sufferings and difficulties feel mary's motherly love let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer may our christian families and communities be centers of joy and mutual support 
and be protectors of life from conception to old age. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us find in Mary a model of prayer, service, and obedience to God's will. May we listen to her as she points to Jesus and says, Do whatever he tells you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as we rejoice in the privilege of Mary's Immaculate Conception, may we ourselves come to you cleansed of all sin. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her, on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride with a hot spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. <laughs> To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, 
and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious, ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord, Jesus Christ, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of ref refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sayo, Diyos samang makapangyarihan, Kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasa walang hanggan. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now entrust ourselves, our country, and the whole Filipino people to Our Lady as we pray the act of consecration and entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. Let us all kneel. We all together pray. We have, we have recourse, recourse to your protection, protection O, o Holy, Holy Mother of God, God as, as we recite the words of this antiphon with, with which the Church of Christ has prayed for centuries. We find ourselves today before you, our Immaculate Mother, we who make up the body of Christ present in our land. Recite the words of this act of consecration and entrustment in which we gather, first of all, the hopes and anxieties of our Filipino people at this moment of our history. Mother of our people, we rejoice in the name Pueblo Amante de Maria, a people who love Mary, Bayang Sumisinta kay Maria. You know all our sufferings and our hopes. You who have a mother's awareness of all the struggles between good and evil, between light and darkness, which afflict the world today. Mother of our people, accept the cry which we, deeply moved by the Holy Spirit, address directly to your heart. Embrace with the love of the Mother and Handmaid of the Lord our people and our land, which now we entrust and consecrate to you. For we are truly concerned for the earthly and eternal destiny of every individual among us and for all our people. We have recourse to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities. From hatred, violence, and conflicts which divide and destroy our people, deliver us. From sins against human life from its very beginning, deliver us. From the demeaning of the dignity of the children of God, deliver us. From every kind of injustice in the life of society, deliver us. From readiness to trample on the commandments of God, deliver us. From the loss of awareness of good and evil, deliver us. From sins against the Holy Spirit, deliver us. Accept, O Immaculate Mother of Christ, this cry laden with the hopes and burdens, the sufferings of each one of us and of all our people. Let there be revealed once more in our own history as a people the infinite power of the redemption, the power of merciful love. May it destroy the power of sin and evil among us. May it transform consciences. O Mary, Mother of Jesus and our hope, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Amen. Let us all stand and sing the Salve Regina.
visited. Before we conclude our celebration, our beautiful celebration this morning, I would like to thank first and foremost all of you who have come here in the Manila Cathedral, our Mother Church, for celebrating this Eucharist on the feast day of our Mother. Special thanks for those who are standing at the back, those who are standing outside patiently, waiting and patiently uh, celebrating this Holy Mass together with us. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa. And together also with those who are joining us through the online broadcast of this Mass, what we call the Manila Cathedral Online Family, Online Community. I know many of you are now here. Those who are attending Mass online before are now here celebrating with us. And also those who are joining us from other parts of the country and other parts of the world, Thank you for joining us in this celebration. Special thanks to the Manila Cathedral servants, our lectors and commentators, greeters and ushers, our altar servers, lay ministers of the Eucharist, our Manila Cathedral staff and personnel. But I would like to specially thank our choir for this morning. They have been practicing for how many nights until 10 p.m. Congratulations to the Manila Cathedral Choir. Just a gentle reminder, after the celebration of the Mass, the faithful will be allowed to come up the sanctuary so that you can come near to the image of Our Lady. Paalala lamang po, medyo madami po tayo. <laughs> Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa loob, kundi nasa labas din ay mabibigyan ng pagkakataong umakyat dito sa altar upang malapitan niyo po ang imahe ng mahal na ina, makapanalangin, makapagdasal, at sigurado akong makapagpapicture na rin. Pero sana kahit may picture-picture dito, let us maintain the prayerful atmosphere here in the sanctuary. And I would like also to beg for your patience. Sigurado po akong mahaba ang pila paakyat dito. Sana po, ang ganda ng umaga natin, nakapagdasal tayo, wala pong magagalit at magsusungit. Yes or no? Walang magsusungit no? at uh, magtsatsaga tayo at uh, pa, magiging mabuti tayo sa mga nakapalibot sa atin at sa ating mga kasama. Again, our thanks to all of you and may Our Lady continue to protect us and pray for us. Let us all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing now and forever. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life now and forever. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards now and forever. Amen. I ask Father Badge to join me in blessing the community and may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Happy Fiesta po sa ating lahat.